There was a concerted effort in the 1990s to make the Crypt Keeper the mascot of Halloween, much as Santa is the mascot of uh, Christmas. Never quite took uh, the Crypt Keeper while beloved. Faded from memory after the uh, Tales from the Crypt television series ended. Uh, there was the cartoon, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. No, it just didn't, it didn't catch. It just didn't. Not that it was bad, but again, another thing where really it was us kids who seemed most drawn to the Crypt Keeper, but as we grew up, he mattered to us less and less. He just wasn't a figure that stuck with us. Now here I am, I'm 20 years removed from when I first saw Tales from the Crypt, not on HBO, but uh, they would air back-to-back -back, uh, Tales from the Crypt on Fox on Saturday night from 11 to midnight and heavily edited for TV. But I, I loved that show, and I loved, when I went to see it in the theater, very excited, Demon Knight. Demon Knight was the first Tales from the Crypt movie. Uh, the second being Bordello of Blood, which is not really worth talking about. And the third being Ritual which was just a, a shitty movie they released in theaters. It bombed, and so they put Crypt Keeper parts on either end of it to make it look like it was a Tales from the Crypt movie. Um, I have Tales from the Crypt on DVD. I pop them in from time to time. Searching for that nostalgic feeling and every now and then I get it. There are some classic episodes of this show. I really love the one uh, with Christopher Reeve, uh, who owns a diner, uh, and uh, cannibalistic hijinks ensue. There's the, of course, famous Christmas one. There's one with John Lovitz that I really like. Um, they had some good episodes, but all in all, it's not Twilight Zone. It just doesn't hold up. Demon Knight, I would actually say, is the best thing to come out of the Tales from the Crypt brand in the 90s. Um, it's it's not a great movie. It's it's schlock from start to finish, but, um, but it's damn entertaining, and I have watched it many, 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 many times over the years. Much more so than I have any episode of the show. Uh, Billy Zane and William Sadler play uh, characters on opposite ends of a holy war. Uh, doing battle over the centuries and finally ending up in a dingy hotel uh, on a dark and stormy night. This is classic horror mixed with Sleaze. That is one word that absolutely describes Tales from the Crypt uh, in the 90s. It was sleaze. It was exploitation. It was taking the EC comics to the next logical level. Uh, there's a, a, a eclectic cast of uh, uh, scumbags in this hotel from uh, Thomas Hayden Church as a a really gross, uh, just douchebag, that's the best word for him, um, to Jada Pinkett, before she was a Smith, uh, as the character who becomes our main focus. Demon Knight has some fun special effects. It has a uh, over-the-top, cheesy story. It has everything that you'd want from Tales from the Crypt. It has the best of the show. It's clear that they put everything into this one, which makes me wonder why 
bordello of blood sucks so bad and that they never really bothered following up with a third movie again ritual is not the third movie notice that i have the show i have the double pack of the movies i don't own ritual it's not a tales from the crypt movie this was a show a franchise that was beloved by people my age when we were kids more so than the adults the adults this was on hbo this is a hard r show this is not something meant for kids but it was so clearly marketed towards us and us uh, either sneaking to watch it on hbo or waiting for it to air edited on fox we were the target audience and we were the ones that really consumed it much like it was children consuming the ec comics back in the 50s the crypt keeper with his terrible puns uh you can't i i if you grew up with him you can't help but smile uh seeing him and hearing him cackle and everything if you didn't grow up with him i found that people find him kind of annoying if you don't have that nostalgia um then nothing uh nothing really sparks in you when you hear those terrible terrible puns tales from the crypt demon knight it's uh it's not a great film at all but I would say it is the best of the Tales from the Crypt franchise, uh, at least in live action. It's something that uh, you don't have to be a fan of the show to watch. I mean, the show was um, an anthology anyway, so you could jump in anytime you want to. But uh, I would say start here. Start with Demon Knight. It's, uh, it's the best of what they tried to do with the show. And you can tell that the cast is having fun. Everybody from the production designer to the, the lighting guy had a blast doing this. And you could tell. Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this three and a half out of five stars. Seek it out. Again, you don't have to be a fan of the show. But if you are, that uh, eh, less than ten minutes of Crypt Keeper footage on either side of it will tickle that little nostalgia spot. sort of gave myself the challenge of, okay,